One day, my mentor told me a line which I remember whole of my life. And he said that your talent is malleable and ductile. It can be changed into different shapes and forms. And to allow that to happen, allow that transformation to happen from what you are today to a future you, you need to have a lot of applied knowledge. And fast forward today, I implemented that and that has definitely helped me. Now, when it comes to you all, the researchers of tomorrow, the scientists, the change makers of tomorrow, some technologies are going to be there probably forever. And one such technology is proteomics. And learning about proteomics, it will make your career, make your talent malleable and ductile. You will be able to change forms and shapes of your career. You will be able to take future jobs if you learn this particular technique, this particular field. Proteomics is nothing but a large scale study of um, proteins, right? So as we know that our body has like hundreds of thousands of types of proteins and there are hundred, you know, at least thousands of uh, gene coding these proteins. So having said that, that obviously means that scientists have to study these proteins to create uh, various drugs, various, um, you know, products. And that is where if they do not study them at a large scale, they cannot make a product or, or a drug or anything in future. Now, that is where proteomics comes into the picture, which helps them analyze proteins on a larger scale. Like I said, there are hundreds of thousands of proteins. So obviously you cannot analyze their structure, function, their uh, interaction inside the body. All of, of that we have to learn. And this got solved when proteomics came into being. So proteomics has got different methods, starting with uh, protein extraction, purification, separation, identification, quantification, as well as bioinformatics are some of the methods of proteomics. So all of this comes together under proteomics. Now, where it will be used? It will be used in drug discovery. It will be used in agriculture. It will be used in precision medicine. It will be used in personalized medicine, personalized nutrition. So all of the, all these places, proteomics will be used in the future as well as currently also it is being used. And the best part is it is highly scalable. For example, I have to uh, write an article. So how many articles I can write in a day? I can write one or two. But what if I tell you that I need to write 1000 articles in the next five hours, right? Definitely I need a tool so I can, can take help of the AI, which is avail available. Same way, proteomics is that tool using which you can analyze proteins at the large scale. Now, to, just to remind you, when you are doing drug discovery or pharmacokinetic or um, any kind of bioavailability studies uh, for any drug or even clinical research, then you need to know, okay, what dosage will become toxic at what dosage it will interact with the protein in the right way, will it, uh, whether this particular ligand will dock with the protein or not. So that ligand docking, all of that need, needs to be studied at a large scale, right? So all of that can be done under proteomics. And that is the reason I said this is one particular uh, field which will be there no matter where you go. Okay, and that is the reason I insist all of you, if you have interest in proteomics, you must go for our uh, proteomics uh, internship, which is a 21 day internship along with a live project. It is, it is a, uh, uh, you know, internship from home. So you don't need to even come. It is an online virtual internship and so an internship which you can attend online and definitely it will help you. Now, let me come to the future jobs which you can get under this internship. The future jobs which you will get will be in different neurodegenerative disorders, cancer research, agricultural research and various fields similar to these. Okay. Now, that means you can be a protein scientist. So what will be the designation you'll get? You'll get a protein engineer, protein engineer. I, I remember one of my students is a protein engineer in Germany right now. And he was an IIT Guwahati product. And then he went ahead. He studied with us for the gate exam. Then he went to IIT Guwahati. Right now, he's a protein engineer in Germany. So, you know, there are various companies who are, you know, specialized in this. And uh, protein designing is uh, one of the hottest area right now in the European Union as a 
as US. So you can definitely get a job there as well. Now, protein engineering or proteomics uh, as such is uh, extensively used in drug development also. So if you have an interest in drug discovery and development, it will come handy there. So you have you can do a lot of target identification, drug screening and pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic studies and uh, biomarkers. So you will get a complete idea about the drug discovery identification as well as uh, the entire bio bioavailability of drugs using the proteomics. So I think uh, if you have interest in drug discovery, which is the hottest uh, uh, you know, field right now in biotech, you can definitely go for proteomics. So it won't harm you. So whether you are in agriculture, whether you are in drug discovery, whether you are in neurodegenerative disorders, you will get a lot of scope. And another thing I wanted to highlight is I have seen that the highly paid scientists are right now in either rare diseases or they are in the neurodegenerative disorder. So that is where the maximum money lies and sits in US as well as India. So if you want to get highly paid, then neurodegenerative disorders, you can uh, get into that field or of course drug discovery is one of the highly paid field. Of course, another one will be your uh, cancer research. Yeah, that is also a great field. So the kind of jobs which you can get under proteomics is proteomics data analyst. So what you'll be doing, you'll be analyzing and interpreting large scale proteomics data and even this can be done as on a freelancing level also as a consultant also. So proteomics data analyst, this is a job of the future which I'm telling you. The second one is of course proteome engineer. So what you'll be doing, you'll be customizing proteins for specialized functions. Okay, so that's proteome engineers. Next you have clinical proteomics. So clinical proteomics is like applying the proteomics knowledge in medical and clinical settings. So that's clinical proteomics and then you have proteomics bioinformatization. What he'll do, you'll develop tools uh, to manage and analyze proteomics uh, data. So that's proteomics bioinformatization. Then of course protein therapeutics researchers. So what, what it is? Designing new proteins, novel proteins based treatments. Okay, so that's your protein therapeutics researcher. Already there's a lot of uh, protein therapeutic researcher jobs available in Europe, European Union, US as well as India. India. Then you have proteomics lab technicians. What you'll do is conducting experiments on extensive level and handling the equipment. So these are the future jobs which you'll uh, see in the proteomics domain. Now, the question to be asked today is, is it future proof? The answer is yes. Is it going to grow? The answer is yes. Do we need this kind of uh, knowledge as a basic uh, bachelor's or master's student? It's a definitely yes. Because you are built off of protein. Your body is completely of protein. So as long as humanity, human race exists, protein will exist. And as long as protein exists, proteomics will exist. And of course, there will be more advancements. So people who are a specialist of proteomics today will be the super uh, strategist of proteomics in the future. So I definitely recommend you to attend the internship which we are conducting from 28th of August. The link is given in the description. In case you are watching this video after 28th of August, no problem. You can always uh, check with us when we are going to conduct the next internship. For now, that's all for uh, proteomics and thank you so much. Let me know in, in the comment section if you have any questions and we'll look into that. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.